A common request I receive is how to search YouTube and how to find videos that are either music um, or sometimes how-to or sometimes learning more about technology. And it's, um, it's a tricky question sometimes because the thing is YouTube, um, because it's owned by Google, um, and Google tends to, uh, how, do we, how do I put it, uh, they tend to change the interface of their website. Um, it's become, it's slowed down a little bit in the past maybe year or so, but they had made a lot of, had been making a lot of adjustments to how things looked. And it was very intuitive if you were sighted, you could tell, oh, well, here it's over here now, it's not over here. If you are a screen reader user and you were using the same commands to do the same things all the time, it required a little more work to get used to. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and just let you know that as of today, April 2nd, 2015, this is how to effectively navigate YouTube. Uh, um, and if it changes, we'll, uh, we'll update this. So anyway, um, I'm in the YouTube, I'm on the main page. Um, right away when you load the main page for YouTube, your screen reader will be focused in the edit field. I'm going to have you listen to what that sounds like. Out of menu, menu, out of menu, menu, what to watch, no next edit field. Oh, shit. Out of menu, edit. And then here I'm in the edit field. So, so this is what the edit, it sounds like when you are in edit mode. There you go. At least with NVDA. Sometimes with JAWS it's a different sound or even window eyes, it sounds a little bit different, but it should give you some sort of an audio cue that when you start typing, it is in the edit mode. So I'm going to type in happy because I like that song a lot. Why? Okay, happy. Space. And before I hit enter to enter the search um, mode, I'm going to let you know that I have the volume on YouTube turned down a little bit so that the screen reader comes into focus and YouTube does not overpower it. So I'm going to just hit enter here. Navigate. All right. So now you're in your, um, I just went ahead and hit control. You're going to navigate your results by heading. And the first couple of results are usually advertisements or something. So I'm going to hit H. Out of menu, best of you. Out of list, the gift movie trail. List with one items, there list with go. 21 items, Pharrell Williams, happy official this music video, visited link heading level 3. Music video, and yes, I have visited it before. So I'm going to go ahead and um, open that. Okay. And it's kind of nice, it's not going to give me an advertisement right away, because I've seen, it's, it's interesting, it'll um, note if you've seen the advertisement recently. So if you refresh the page, you won't have to suffer through another one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit a tab. Edit. Out of list, out of list, skip navigation button. YouTube home visited link. YouTube home visit guide button collapse. Upload link. Sign in link. Blank. Button theater mode. Okay, button when you pause. start hearing this, Button watch later, button next, button subtitles, okay. This is letting PC you button. know that you are in the control area of the embedded video. So if you hit, um, uh, it started listing all of those things. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit tab again. Theater mode alert, it's theater gonna mode. It's going to let me pull up theater mode if I want, and that just makes the screen a little wider. Alert. This is 27%. 27% done. It'll 28%. Every couple seconds. 29%. Really annoying. 30%. 30. Pause, okay. alert, pause. I, okay, I tapped again. Now I'm in the pause. I hit spacebar to activate the pause button. Um, and that's relatively easy to do. Most people, that's all they really need to know once they've loaded a video. How do I pause it? How do I, I'm going to hit my... Mute, alert, mute. Yep, and here's, here's my mute. What's interesting, and I'm going to be completely honest, really annoying, is the fact that um, you cannot get to the play, pause, or mute button um, through the elements dialog box with the insert F7 because they are in an embedded player. Uh, and that's kind of why that works that way. 
So um, it's kind of a shame. But I'm going to show you something else real quick. I'm going to continue to navigate through this. I'm actually going to just um, do a shift tab to let you to see that you can go backwards. Play alert, play. Yeah, I want to play it. So I'm going to keep going. Mute alert, mute. Watch later, alert, watch later. So I could send this to a watch later list. Next alert, next. Subtitle, settings, alert, settings. Theater mode, alert, alert. So you'll notice. 39%. Pause, alert, pause. What it did was, now that I'm in the embedded player, I'm sort of stuck there. Like, I really don't know the best way to get out of it. The best way that I have been able to figure out to get out of this embedded player is just to refresh the page and act as though you don't want to even get in there. Um, or even just use a, uh, the back browser, uh, the back um, feature of your browser with either a backspace or a, uh, or a alt left arrow. Either one of those will get you to the previous page. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and, and do that as much as I'd like to finish this video is probably not a good idea. So I'm going to go back. Okay, now I'm on the previous page where I was at with uh, uh, with, the pre with these results for happy. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a little bit of an overview of how YouTube itself is laid out. So I'm going to go to the very top of the page. I'm not looking for anything in particular. Out of menu, out of list, pause, date, YouTube, home, visit. Okay, I'm actually going to go to the home page. Navigation, landmark. It just seems like an easier idea. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you know that you, YouTube has what's called a guide. And that helps you navigate to um, areas that you might want, like videos, like music, um, popular, things like that. So in order to get to the button... I'm going to hit a B. Skip navigate. Guide button expanded. Okay. So it's letting me know that my guide is expanded. I can collapse it if I want to. Collapsed. Okay. And that means that if you are um, have any vision at all, your, uh, your guide menu um, is no longer on the left side of your screen. That may actually even work to your advantage if you are a uh, screen reader user and, and you kind of end up there and you're not sure how it happened. So I'm going to actually... Expand it again. Navigation. So now I'm in my guide here. I know I am because I'm going to use my down arrow. Out of menu separator. Heading level 3 best of YouTube. Okay, so this I can go to the best of YouTube. Menu link popular on YouTube. There you go. Suppose I want to go to the popular stuff. Man, that kind of scares me when you think about it. What could be on here that's popular? Link music. Link sports. Link gaming. Link education. Oh, okay, that sounds good. Let's go to education. So I'm going to hit, um, uh, oops, space, yep, or entry, either one works. So this is education. These are these are our videos that are marked with a hashtag or with a tag in, in the video as education. So I'm going to go to the top of the page again. I'll go menu up. To be sure that I know where I'm at. And I'm going to go ahead and hit H for heading. Navigation landmark list with four items, best of YouTube, head. Out of list main landmark education link auto generated by YouTube heading level one. Okay, so these are auto generated results by YouTube. So I'm going to go ahead and hit H, uh, H again. List with six items home heading level two. Out of list list with ten items education link heading level two. List with thirteen items mathematics. Okay. The next generation professor Peter Cameron link heading level three. I'm not sure what that. That doesn't sound very interesting at all, so I'm going to hit tab again. Go to the user page for no questions. Thanks. Out of list, out of list blank. Main landmark list with 10 items, list with 13 items, learn English. Three easy ways to get better at speaking English, link heading level 3. Okay, good to know. I hope I can get better at my English. Go to the youth, out of... Main landmark list with 10 items, list with 13 items, the death and life of the great American school system, link heading level 3. Oh, that sounds a little more controversial than I'm shooting for. But you get the idea. You want to keep tabbing to get to the next links. Some of the links will take you to the um, subscription information. Some of them will take you to the video directly. Um, what's interesting is another thing that you can do 
is you can open the, the elements dialog box and insert F7. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Elements list dialog. Okay. Preview the definite life of the great American school system. Third. So these are links um, that how we've been navigating previously. But I want to go to headings. So I'm going to hit an Alt-H because I want to navigate by headings. Preview. Level two, the definite life of the great American schools is Roland Fryer. Great Crown Forum Scholars Day program, a guide to critical thinking, six of twelve level two, how to memorize anything quickly, memory training. Now, I don't know about you, but that's a lot, seems a lot faster to navigate by heading um, than by the name of the How to focus and pay attention, memory, and learn rethinking, learning with Salman Khan, nine of artistry and agency in education. Read the Oedipus Effect, Professor Glenn D. Level 3, 20, Certainly more 1 of 1. You. Level 1, Medicine Expanded, 3 of 12, okay. 3 of the Labs. Okay. Lifelong Learning Expanded, 4 of 12, okay, Level so 1. Lifelong Learning, that sounds good. Now, if I want to read those, I'm going to keep going down. Level down 2, now. English Grammar. English Grammar, 3 ways to express negative ideas powerfully, 3 of 12, Level Ooh, 2. Oh, that didn't sound positive at all. Yields and Total Academic Vocab. English Grammar Word Endings, okay. what are... Suppose I'm done. Like, I don't want to do lifelong learning, so I'm going to close this. So I'm going to left arrow. Level 1, life will collapse. And then I'm going to do it down there. Business expanded. Business. Five of oh, I already know I don't want to be that. Collapsed. Primary and secondary education expanded. 6 oh. of 12, level 1. You sound like a little bit more my speed, to be honest with you. Level 2, analysis of company financial statements. 1 of 12. What? Seriously. Level 1, primary and secondary education. Oh, secondary education. Yeah, I see. Level 2, nothing, nobody, negation in French 2 of 12, level 2. Oh yeah, I don't see French. So maybe I want to close this one. Too. Level 1, prime, the collapsed. Left arrow. University expanded 7 of 12, level 1. Level 2, the psychology of money, Professor Glenn D. Wilson, 1 that of 12. That actually sounds kind of interesting. Level 1, the right, university I want to close the collapsed. Social sciences expanded 8 of 12, level 1. Level 2, the psychology of money, but Professor Glenn D. Wilson, 1 of 12. Now, wait a minute. We just saw this. Anyway, my point being that you can um, expand and collapse different things in this dialog box. Um, make it easier. It's like a tree view, like, um, like it is in uh, a navigation pane in Windows Explorer. You can do the same kinds of things with left and right arrows expanding and collapsing. Um, and navigating this way by headings uh, is an easier way to navigate our, your videos. So we're going to hit escape to get out of this dialog box because, you know, really I'm not too worried about it. Education YouTube, Roland Fryer, Crown Forum Scholars Day Program, a guide to critical thinking, how to memorize anything. See, how and even hitting an H will get you between these much easier if you choose not to do the, uh, the list that I just showed you. Um, that pretty much uh, leaves us uh, with YouTube. I know this kind of app sometimes asks a few more questions than it's answering. So let's go ahead and end it for now. And um, if there are any questions or concerns, we can certainly see how it ends up later. So let's see what happens. So good luck to you. Um, definitely experiment. If I haven't broken YouTube yet, I'm probably not going to do it either. So. Have a great time, uh, listen to some cool tunes, and remember, stay happy.